Hi, today I'm going to show Barrow's new water cooling leak tester and how it works. Inside the box, each component is individually wrapped and protected by a huge piece of soft foam. So, out of the box, from left to right, we have a pump holder, which I'm not really sure what it's for. There are also some mounting options for it, um, but we won't be using it at all. Next, we have the air pump. We also have the inlet tube, which connects the air pump to the main body with the pressure gauge. We also have two soft tubing um, fittings and half a meter of soft tube. So now I'm going to show how the leak tester works. I'll be testing it on a single radiator to determine if it's airtight. What's great about the leak tester is that you could leak test your entire loop or individual components. This is especially useful if you take apart your water block to clean or buy secondhand parts. We can easily determine if the components will be airtight. Alright, so let's get started. We'll first connect the air pump to the main body. On the main body, we want to ensure that the relief valve is turned anti-clockwise to the on position. What's great about the valve is that it seems to be a one-way valve. This means that air will only flow in one direction, and if you turn it off, air will block in both directions. Next, we connect the soft tubing fittings to the main body of the pressure gauge and to the component that you want to test. After everything is connected, we can pump air into the system. As we pump, we should monitor the pressure gauge needle. You want it in the green zone just after 0.5 bar and, and turn the valve into the off position, closing it. Now you can monitor the needle on the pressure gauge if it swings back. If it swings back, it means there's a leak and if it doesn't, it means your system is airtight. If you determine the system's airtight, you could disconnect the leak tester and start filling your water loop. Thank you for watching.